All right, to install the brackets here, you're going to remo want to remove the uh, one, two, three, four, five screws of the uh, A pillar here. And you'll want to put the uh, adhesive foam pad, as it obviously seems how it goes. And there's one at the top, there's one at the bottom here. It sticks on there like that. And you're going to want to reinstall your bolts. All right, got the three bolts right here back installed and the two bolts here for my little cube lights. I got both sides in, look pretty good, solid. Now to install the light bar. All right, here's the light bar, 52 inch. I'm gonna go over the wiring here real quick. So starting from the light bar, you go down to the connections and I did not have the correct connections and I'm hoping this works a little bit ghetto, but I basically just soldered them up together into the wiring harness and put a little li liquid tape over it and I'm going to do some like, heat shrink or electrical tape so hopefully that works, don't have to cut it and redo it or whatever All right, going from the uh, light bar over to the relay the relay here, there's one black and there's uh, all the other ones leading off here uh, this goes to the battery on the uh, negative side and the red leading off of the fuse is the positive because the positive side of the battery and the white the light leads over here to the uh, switch. Here, I'll give you a little higher view of it. The black here goes to ground. The red end here goes to the ne or the positive side of the battery. And the white, here's your little switch here, off and on. And that goes into your, through your firewall, and into your, uh, wherever you want to mount it, inside the cabin. So yeah, let's go ahead and install that. Okay, next what you're going to do is you're going to find a bolt that fits in here. Uh, this one didn't come with a bolt, I just think it's a rare occasion. You're going to find a bolt that fits in the hole, Pretty, uh, it's going to be pretty short. And you're going to find, well mine already had a washer with it, it's already attached here. And you're going to find another washer and you're basically just going to put it in. You can kind of see a little ways and you're going to slide it, <coughs> excuse me, right down into this hole. I'm doing this one handed here one wash the washer on one side of it and the uh, other washer on the other Whoop. there we go see where it just sits down in there and it's able to rotate like this the other side's already just a little bit tightened i just tightened it up just to hold it in place because i'm videoing with one hand and you'll have your uh wire here that leads down to your harness uh, we will mess with that here in a second so yeah make sure you have the bolt in already before you put the light bar up here Usually helps to have two people, one on each end. I did not at this point, so I just tried to, I just set it, I just set it on one end and uh, connected it here. So yeah, uh, just tighten both bolts up. Make sure it's kind of aligned where you want it. Probably kind of downward-ish. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good right now. So yeah, the camera will focus. There you go. Here, I'll take a step back. It's, nothing's wired up just yet. You can see the wires here still on the ground. But that's how you kind of place it on there. So yeah, let me get back with you. All right, we got it, got it all wired up, ready to roll. So let's give it a, give it a shot. All right, we're out here. It's dark. Uh, those are just my headlights. There's a bit of a woods down there, down there far. So let's just go ahead and give it a rip. Let's see if I can give you a good shot. Hit right on the trees. Let me go behind the Jeep. There you go, you can see it better on this side. Alright, go ahead and turn off. Alright, turn back on. There you go. Yeah, let, me, let me give you a few, few better shots of it. All right, being, being the kind neighbor I am, I'm gonna give my neighbors a bit of a little early sunshine with the light here. So go ahead and let it hit it. There you have it. Pretty bright. Goes a long way. All right, go ahead and turn off for the, get mad. So yeah, Oxbeam 52 inch uh, hyper spot lens on here. You can, you can kind of see it. Pretty impressed with it. Looks good, solid, waterproof full metal so yeah please check out their site uh, use my code ruby5 for five percent off there's a link down in the description below please like rate comment subscribe and thanks for watching